Hi guys. So this is a quick guide on the basics, the very basic functionality of OBS Ninja. If you aren't aware, OBS Ninja is a piece of software I made about six, seven months ago at the beginning of the isolation period. Um, it's a free tool, uh, open source even, that lets you bring in remote video feeds, live stream them into your production software, OBS, vMix, anything like that. It's super easy, no downloads needed, it's private, it's private secure, um, quite a few other things that are awesome about it. Um, it can be very powerful or it can be very simple depending on what you want from it. In this case, we're looking at the most basic, absolute most basic use case. I'm assuming you are using Windows in this example though. I'll have to do a video in the future for Mac OS users. There's a little bit more complexity there, but for Windows users, dead simple. And let's get into it. This is OBS Ninja. Just go to obs.ninja, super easy. Um, on the main page, there's information. Uh, if you have problems, there's support. So there's a subreddit, so a forum with community feedback, help. There's a Wikipedia. So if you have questions that are highly technical, a reference guide, for example, uh, all the advanced settings are essentially contained there. Discord, live chat, so a chat room. I'm always, I'm almost always on it, so hit me up there. And if there's some other reason, you can also hit me up by email. Okay, so the very basic application of OBS Ninja is what we're doing right now, and that's live streaming video. So I am bringing in a remote camera into OBS, and I'm streaming that out to YouTube Live. And so let's just show you that I have OBS open and I'm live streaming right now. And here we can see that we are actually, uh, this is how I'm bringing the video in via OBS Ninja. This is how I'm capturing it. Okay, and so I'll show you how to do this very quick sup. And what we're gonna do is we are going to say, add camera to OBS. We can select a different camera and select a different mic source. We can see our audio. And if we want to be advanced at this point, we can change resolution. So 1080p, uh, 720 and 360. If your camera can support those resolutions, it will switch over. Um, but we're just going to use everything basic. So then we're just going to hit start. Pretty easy, okay? So we're seeing our preview and it's smeared usually, which is nice. And we're just going to click this link at the top. This link is not always here, but when you say add your camera to OBS, we're assuming very simplistic starting grounds. And so we're going to provide you the link. Um, just, yeah, just click it, copies it. And you want to send this to whatever computer is running OBS. In this case, I'm on the same computer. So I'm just going to go over to OBS and I'm going to say plus browser. And I don't have to give it a name. It opens up this window. Okay, we are going to replace the URL with the URL we got from OBS Ninja. We are going to change the width to whatever we want. In this case, it's going to be 16 by 9 aspect ratio, um, 720 resolution. But if you want to do 1080, you can do that. Um, it's up to you. And we're going to check use custom, oh, oh, sorry. We're gonna check control audio via OBS. So we wanna check this, and this lets us capture audio as well. There we go. We have audio coming in twice, so I'm gonna mute one of these. Uh, there we go. We have now audio and video being brought in, and here's the video. I can move it around. And I can just, in OBS, drag it to fill the screen if I want. Here we go. I keep moving wrong thing. Okay. So yeah, um, that is essentially what we're doing. We are streaming in from our browser here. It can be wireless, it can be whatever, into OBS. Okay. And this works with a phone. So if you have an iPhone, you can use that. As a camera, it works with an Android. No downloads needed. Everything is just browser-based. So 
If you have OBS and you have Windows, it just works. It's super simple, free, low latency. Um, yeah, it's. I I think it's pretty awesome, but uh, you know, I'm a little bit biased. Anyways, um, that's the most basic functionality. I won't get beyond that in this video. You can do pretty much anything you want with OBS Ninja um, in terms of live streaming functionality. It's a toolkit, very advanced. You can change bit rates. You can have multiple guests. You can have a chat room. You can have reusable links. You can do a bunch. Um, but I'll save those for other videos. If you have questions, ask, and I'll do maybe a video solving your question. Okay, uh, until next time, uh, have fun, and later.